Hello everyone. Um, some of you may already know this game and may already be playing it at home. But for those of you that don't know, I thought this would be a great way to engage with your family and also um, exercise some of the uh, uh, numeracy as well as exploring dimension. So um, let's get started. I have this um, bowl and uh, maybe you guys can guess what's in it. And it's Lego. So I'm going to pick out a random amount of different pieces. Let's just say one, two, three, four. And I have a line in the middle. I'm going to create a shape. And so if you're a parent or a guardian, you can start with that, something very basic. Um, and the role of, of uh, the student is to replicate it. So I'm going to quickly try to find the same pieces. So I've got a black here, and the, the name of the game is uh, Symmetry. Oh, I'm just got to be in here. Let me help this be out. There we go. Okay. So I've matched the black. The next color is um, red oh silly me that's not red that's yellow um, uh, white okay, what's what's fun about this game and is, is that if you can't find the right piece you can find an equivalent that's made out of two pieces. You could say this is the same because it looks the same and it has the same number of points. So there you have it. Um, this is extremely basic but it does the job. I've created a a more complex um, composition, and now it's 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 the mom's or dad's turn to, or maybe an older sibling to replicate that. An uh, another fun way to um, add a sense of um, adventure to this is to have a timer, and to see who can complete it faster. Um, So maybe if I don't have that piece, I can have this piece here like that. And then uh, yellow here, purple. I think it's like that. Okay, so, oh, I forgot one thing. That's why. There we go. Okay, so it looks very similar. Which some, you know, if you're working in architecture or some sort of an exterior design or landscape design um, field, you may use this to, um, to help you brainstorm you know, novel ideas and uh, also keep things simplistic in terms of building construction. 
So here we have um, just a simple, not a simple, but I mean, it's a simple build, but uh, it, is, it is a pretty obscure design, let's say for a house. And if we want to replicate that um, and create symmetry, uh, it would look like this. Right. So let's say that is your finished piece. And the idea is to see and explore what other possibilities can you have when all you do is uh, replicate a piece and now and create more symmetry, right? So, I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, and all I've used is three pieces in two different tones. Um, so you have that, you have that, um, you have this, which is also interesting, right? And this is only three pieces. So I encourage you guys to start very basic, um, maybe even keep it to one tone uh, or one color and then expand from there. Um, you know, if, if you wanna simply add to the complexity, you know, um, oh, this is also kind of cool. Maybe add a piece right here, there you go. And then replicate that and then build on top of that. There's something, uh, there's something calming and uh, balance inducing in symmetry, even though not a lot of things are symmetrical, truly symmetrical. Um, I think symmetry adds order in, in times of uh, chaos like now, not maybe in BC as much as the rest of the world, but I think we could use a bit of symmetry or a bit of symmetrical uh, thinking or an approach. So yeah, um, you've got two exercises. Explore those uh, and, and send me what you guys make. You know, send photographs and, and uh, videos. And uh, I can't wait to see what you guys make and uh, how fun it is um, to do it with your children. Thanks.